Salutations, my name is John Johnson, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Yellow Special Pikachu Edition. In the random battle... Ahem. As I was saying, in the last episode, we, uh... Didn't really do a whole lot, actually. Yay, rich good level 7 wonderful. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, in the last episode, we got a Pikachu and did some errands for an old man, and that was pretty much it. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on... Hey, look, we actually made it without getting through another fight. We're going to be continuing on where, uh, last episode, there was an old man fast out drunk in the road. We're going to see what he's up to right now. Old man! Ah, uh, look at that, you're alive. I've had my coffee, quotation marks, now and I feel great. Yeah, hair of the dog, whatever. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry, I was so rude to you. You weren't rude, you were drunk, dude. <laughs> you were straight passed out in the middle of the road. Alright, so he's gonna show us how to catch Pokemon, even though we really already know how to catch Pokemon, but yeah, whatever. Wild or ta 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 appeared. Yes, we know how to use a Pokeball, come on. We're actually gonna be going, uh, as soon as this finishes up and the old man will leave us alone. You're gonna show us how to catch Pokemon and then you can't even catch it. That didn't work. N really? Yeah, okay. Idiot. <laughs> as soon as he leaves the screen and disappears forever, we're going to uh, go to the Pokemon here and actually pick up some Pokeballs of our own, because we're going to be catching our first wild Pokemon, not doubting Pikachu, I guess, technically, uh, today. So let's buy some Pokeballs from the marked man here. You're not even going to say thank you for taking the parcel over there, dude? Seriously? You're, you're the one of the worst people I've ever met, man. So there. Yeah, we're going to get about 10 Pokeballs, because that seems like a number. And then, uh, get some potions as well. I know I probably shouldn't spend all my money right off the bat, but I'm really paranoid. And I feel like potions and Pokeballs are going to be our main two concerns for the time being. No, don't buy anything else. Go. Go. Alright. So let's actually head back on down to Route 1, or whatever it's called. And, uh, ooh, actually, before we do that, let's go and heal Pikachu at the Poke Center while I'm thinking about it. Alright. And we're back. And, okay. Let's head on down to Route 1. We're going to be catching our first wild Pokemon of the game. Are you guys excited? I know I am. Now, I'm not going to reveal what it is quite yet. Wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, look, there it is. We're actually going to be catching a Pidgey. Not a level 3 Pidgey, however. I'm going to keep looking off screen. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and knock this thing on out real quick. I'm going to keep looking for one that's a little bit stronger. And then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take it under control. So I will see you guys in a minute whenever I find one. Alright, we're gonna deal with that. <laughs> I've been looking for a minute, and I can't find one level 5, so we'll do a level 4. That's fine. That's fine. So yeah, we're gonna be catching a Pidgey, and I know Pidgeys are really... Oh, thank God that didn't kill it. <laughs> I was going to be legit, legitimately upset if that actually killed it. Uh, Pidgey's a pretty normal Pokemon. I know a lot of people don't really care for it, but I like Pidgey, you know? Pidgey's cool. It's just, it's just kind of a bird. There's really nothing that much special about it. Hey, look at there, we caught Pidgey. So that's our first wild Pokemon we caught. Are you guys happy about that? I am. Now, the Pokedex will be added for Pidgey. Yay. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Yeah, that's pretty much just the bird. That's really... I mean, it's just the bird. That's all. We shoved a bird into a ball. Perfect. Do you want to give a nickname to Pidgey? I do! What do I want to name it? Potato. Potato the Pidgey. <laughs> the nicknames in this game is going to be the best part, I think, for the entire LP. So we now have Twitch the Pikachu and Potato the Pidgey. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a potato, okay? I know this is, you know, yellow and the graphics aren't just like super great, fantastic or anything like that. But it looks like a potato! I mean, really, there's not much more to say about that, to be honest, so, Potato the Pidgey it is. Alright, so now we have Potato all healed up, we're actually going to switch him out into our first spot. You're going to be seeing me uh, doing this a lot, uh, to train, get a poke weaker Pokemon whenever I catch them. He's level 4 starting now, it won't take, take us too long to catch uh, Potato on back up to, uh, to level, whatever level Twitch is at 7. Uh, let's see, so what can we do now? What should we do now? 
Uh, now there is a gym here in Verdian City. There's the old man. Whatever. There's a gym here in Verdian City, but we can't do crap about it right now because the gym leader is not there. So, oh well. You want to show you how to catch Pokemon? No, I don't want to show it. No, you suck at catching Pokemon. We've already, we've, we know that. Jeez. Alright, where are we? Route 2, of course, that makes perfect sense, actually. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and start taking care of uh, Viridian first on this one. I mentioned in the last episode that uh, this is actually not the first recording test of this. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, you know what, I'm gonna leave this one in, because this is Potato's first fight. Let's see how Potato holds up. Not very well so far, but we'll see. Come on, Potato! You're the best potato I've ever seen! Tell me that doesn't look like a potato, seriously. The, the, the back, the, it looks like a potato. P Pidgey from the back looks like a potato. I'm done saying potato, at least for the next five potato seconds. Anyways. Yay, so potato won its first fight. We could go and heal again, actually, but uh, we're not gonna worry about it. We got plenty of potions and all that. Let's go ahead and head straight on up into Viridian Forest. Roam far to get new kinds of Pokemon. Look for other types outside of Verdian Forest. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Are you going to Verdian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Whatever. Now, I know we already got one Pokemon in this, but we're actually probably gonna go ahead and catch another one in this episode. Came here with some friends. They're off the Pokemon fight, so that's good to know. Uh, but it's not gonna be part of our permanent team. It's gonna be kind of a temporary member. We'll see. Uh, ooh, hey. Hello, Mr. Metapod. Now, this is a new Pokemon, and we could actually catch it if we wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm actually just going to keep using Gus, that way uh, Potato gets all the experience here for killing this thing. Yay! Uh, the Pokemon we're actually going to catch, I'll go ahead and spoil it, is Caterpie. Now, I'm not going to make Caterpie part of the normal team, I'm just going to use him, uh, basically I'm going to raise Caterpie up to a Butterfree, and use it to beat Brock a little easier, because that's, as far as I know, the best strategy. I could be wrong about that, though. I don't think there are any grass types available right off the bat, or water types. I guess there's Mankey, I think, if you can catch him in this game. I know you can in red and blue, off uh, towards Victory Road, but I don't know how fighting types are, are against rock types. Probably not bad, better than electric types, but whatever. Whatever, as I said, I really don't know much about stats or anything like that with Pokemon. I barely know the whole rock, paper, scissors system, that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna catch a, a Caterpie. Yay, potato grew to level five. I have a level five potato. What do you have? Nothing, exactly. Hey, and potato learns sand attack. So you pretty much just throw potato in the ground and it kicks up some sand. That's perfect. Do you have Pikachu? I do have Pikachu. You wanna see it? Cause it's gonna kick all your Pokemon's butt. Glass wants to fight. Okay, yeah. Sit out Nidoran. Oh yeah, that's a new one too. I kind of wish I was doing bios and all that, but it's just too time consuming. I have to, since I don't know any of the information right off the bat, uh, I wouldn't really be able to put that much on there. I mean, I, I could do the research and all that, but that'd just take way so much time and work and effort that I just don't have time for, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna kick this Nidoran's butt real quick. It shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't give us too much problem. Then we're gonna make our way through uh, Viridian Forest. Now, with Viridian Forest, I know there's a lot of uh, invisible items and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know where all of them are necessarily. Uh, but I don't know. Where, I don't know where all the items are, unfortunately. So we're not gonna be uh, picking all of them up. But, I'm gonna pick up the ones I know where they are, and which ones we could come across, and all that. So... Uh, no, John will not change Pokémon. Last thing I don't need it right. that's perfect. Let's go ahead and take care of that one, too. I believe you can actually catch Nidoran later on, so we may end up doing that, I don't know. We'll, we'll do something later. My, my actual strategy right now is mostly, uh, what I have done the only two times I've beaten this game uh, is using Poison Powder on Butterfree and maybe a few other moves to take down Brock and his like. And also being super, super buff and training like crap and grinding. Which makes me a little bit over level, but we'll, we'll, we'll handle it when we get to it. It's not going to be a big problem, hopefully. We'll find out. Oh hey, there's another item and another random battle. Perfect. Oh hey, but it's a Caterpie. Perfectly. Hey, what level is it? Oh, it's level 5 Caterpie. That's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna catch this. Potato, use Gust. Potato, use Gust. 
I, I can't even laugh at this anymore. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna knock this Caterpie on down a little bit, and then try and catch it. Because reasons. One more, come on. As long as this isn't a critical hit, we should be pretty good to go. Okay, perfect. Please don't. Okay. Whew. We may end up having to use a potion here. Off screen, or not off screen, but out of the fight. Come on, hold down A as is tradition, even though it does absolutely nothing. Yay, we got the Caterpie. If you touch the feeler on top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. Well, I'm not going to be doing that then, am I? <laughs> do you want to give a nickname to Caterpie? Yes, I do. What clever nickname can I give to Caterpie? Uh... <laughs> I got it. I'm going to have to explain my thought process on this because it makes no sense. But, uh, give me a second and I'll explain it. It'll make sense once I... Well, actually, no, it won't make that much sense when I explain it, to be honest with you. It's a very stretch of the imagination kind of thing. Paula... Ooh, it, per it fits perfectly. Paula Dean. Paula D. <laughs> okay, now, my thought process on that is basically... Oh, hey, Pikachu. Oh, hey, Pikachu likes me. Cool. Thank you, Pikachu. Uh, my thought process on that is actually... <laughs> Caterpie evolves into Butterfree eventually, and Paula Deen loves butter. That's it. That's my entire thought process on it. It makes sense. You know, kind of. <laughs> We're actually going to send out Twitch here so that we can uh, knock this Pidgey out real quick, and then we need to use Potion on the other Pokemon. We could go back and heal him, but I'm not I'm not worried about that much. Fight, 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 fight. We have Thunder Wave, so we can paralyze him if we want to, but we're not probably not going to use that much. I really don't use defensive moves that much playing Pokemon. I'm mostly offensive. Potato gained 23 experience points. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And uh, we're actually going to call it there. Uh, ooh, actually, we're gonna, I can do my outro while I'm giving them potions. Uh, we're going to call this episode there, and next episode we're going to be continuing on through Viridian Forest and maybe even taking on the first part of the gym. I don't know. Possibly. We'll see. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like, like, leave a comment, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please share the friends. And I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Yellow Special Pikachu Edition. See you guys. Come on, potato. You're the best potato I've ever seen. Tell me that doesn't look like a potato. Seriously. The, the, the back, it looks like a potato. P Pidgey from the back looks like a potato. I'm done saying potato, at least for the